Here we see the Polo Gear or Nick Rodan saddle sitting on the horse's back where it's supposed to go. Not on top of the shoulder because you don't need to. The saddle falls right where it belongs, right behind the shoulder, but still canter livering in front, pretty much above the shoulder angle without touching it and displacing the weight of the rider to the rear of the saddle. It has the ability to be flocked, like I said, these panels can be opened from the inside and flocked with wool. The wool would absorb the concussion created by the weight of the rider. So all of the sorenesses of the horse's back will be absorbed by the panel. It tends to even them out. So those pressure points are going to be receiving the body weight evenly because the saddle actually contours all around the horse. There is not, like the other saddles do, more weight on the rear and more weight on the front. There is even weight all around the saddle. The other major attribute is that the gullet, like I explained before, is very wide, so it allows the panel to descend to the transverse processes. The, the weight is carried much lower than other saddles do. In many instances, you see saddles that actually pinch the withers. The weight of this saddle is carried down here, way down where the transverse process of the dorsal vertebrae are located. When you add all of the attributes of the saddle, what you have is a whole myriad of detail which amounts to a very refined contact between the saddle and the horse's back. And that is what takes the pressure away, that is what takes the pain away, and that is what makes the horse finally come down to use the body the way it's supposed to be, on a frame without lifting up the head, using the dorsal line and working from behind.